Hello everyone and welcome back. As you know, my videos are not too long. I'm trying to keep them in the range of 10 to 20 minutes. That is why sometimes I don't have the time to show you all the smallest tiny details that I'm adding to my cars. So, on the last video, which was the orange Chevy farm truck, one of you guys asked me if I could show how to fabricate mirrors to a diecast car. So today I'm going to show you how to make them. This car is going to be finished in a few days. I'm going to show you a complete video of how it was made, minus the mirrors which I'm showing you today as a separate video. So I started off with my hand drill. I'm drilling two holes on each side. Um, this car is of Matchbox and I think it is going to be a tow truck of some sort. And after um, drilling these two tiny uh, holes, I'm using this um, office clip in order to make the posts that are going to hold the mirrors. It's very strange for me to see that this Matchbox car didn't have any mirrors at the first place. Well, Hot Wheels cars don't have mirrors because, as I was told, the mirrors tend to damage the boosters. Um, they are too tiny and because they stick from each side, they are uh, tearing the boosters wheels that spin very fast. And that is why Hot Wheels do not design their cars with mirrors. Some of them do have mirrors as part of the demand of the manufacturer of the car, um, but most of them do not have mirrors. As far as I know, Matchbox cars weren't designed to um, go through boosters, so maybe someone forgot to add the mirrors for this model. At this point, I have to be sure I'm cutting these two parts to be identical. They need to be the same part on each side of this car's doors. Now, let me just open this car. And I will have to see that the mirrors will not interrupt with the interior piece. Inside this car, you can see the plastic piece is almost touching the doors from the inside. So, in this case, I have to make sure that the mirrors will not interrupt on uh, putting this piece back in place. So now it is time to attach this post into its hole in the door. I'm going to use super glue and a mix of baking soda. The baking soda will make the uh, super glue to be even stronger and it will create better attachment of this post to the door. And there you go, it is, um, okay, I guess, now let me just reinforce this part, it is getting stronger in each second, 
the super glue is drying really quick and the second one right now another drop of uh, baking soda just to make it stronger and here it is yeah okay let's see I have to um, I have to wait now till it will get dry then I will be able to grind the excessive material from the inside. Okay, after a little break, and I see that everything is dried out, it is time to add another drop of glue and then attach the mirror. The mirror is a tiny plastic diamond uh, you can find in a DIY jewelry uh, shop. Um, maybe something that is related to hobby of making your own jewels I'm not into th this hobby so I really don't know why they are selling this maybe you can um, decorate something with these anyhow I'm using these um, tiny uh, diamond plastic parts in order to add mirrors or even uh, some headlights if I don't have any well it is uh, looking very nice after you shape them to the desired uh, shape it uh, always escapes oh okay there you go I have to make sure this 
part will hold and will not break. Okay, I think we can move on to the next step, which is going to be waiting a little bit and then shaping these mirrors. Okay, so after a little break and off camera, I've continued shaping these mirrors with my knife and with this uh, sandpaper. I guess it took me about two hours from start to finish, although this video is very short, 
um, the amount of filing and shaping took me um, some time. Anyhow, I hope I will finish this truck in a few days and I could um, edit this video and upload it as soon as possible. So you can stay tuned and wait for this truck which I guess is going to be a tow truck. Now let me just open this cab once again and I will show you the um, inside of this part and you can see that after I finished shaping these mirrors I had to grind with my Dremel here from the inside because there was this interruption um, and the plastic part didn't came all the way in so again I had to grind these parts to have a perfect match okay so this video is about to end you can see that the addition of mirrors adds more realism to your car so you should try to um, customize the next car with the mirrors so in the meantime i will say again thanks for watching i will see you soon on my next video and please stay tuned for the completion of this truck bye bye